Hi all my dear students. This is Abhinav Negi and I welcome you all on Baiju's exam prep. Guys, from last two three years, I find a demotivation among students, especially engineers who are inclined towards engineering services, but withdrawal of railway vacancies from engineering service examination makes them demotivated. And guys, now a big news is coming from railways. By consulting UPSC and DOPT Department of Personal Training, they have found that railway requires engineers, requires technical persons. So that the big news is that that IRMSC has come up with a new type of pattern from 2023. That pattern, that examination will be effective from 2023. And let me tell you, that is a big bumper for all engineers out there. Now again, railway is yours, guys. Okay. So what is that pattern? What is the number of seats? When notification will be coming? Everything I'll be telling you in this brief video, guys. Please share it to everybody so that maximum students can join. Okay. Let me again tell you, guys. Now. Again, this is the railways again of engineers. All the seats, mostly all the seats are now from engineers only. Okay, so what is the pattern of IRMSC now for 2023? Let me tell you, the first stage will be from civil service examination. That will be qualifying nature, paper 1 GS and paper 2 CSAT. Okay, so all the students who have filled up the form of IRMS, they will be giving the prelims exam as like any other graduate from any stream for the civil service examination and he has to qualify this cutoff may be more, may be less, may be equal to that of the actual exam of CSE prelims. Okay, so he has to appear here. Okay, same paper, same number of questions, same pattern as of civil service examination will be given to him also. Now, the stage two will be different. Now, civil service well, students will be different. They will be give, they're giving their four GS papers or whatever. Now, here the engineers will be coming here in the stage two. Okay, and stage two, what is there? That in the mains examination, there will be uh, two papers of uh, Indian language, maybe Hindi, English, Pali, Urdu, Tamil, Telugu, okay, Punjabi, Indian language. Okay, no, not any language you can give. As per constitution, there are, I guess, 20 or 22 languages are there. So you have to opt any language from that. That will be of 300 marks. Okay, this marks and paper two will be English. Okay, these will not be guys uh, counted in merit. So all engineers whose English is poor like me, please don't be uh, demotivated. This is just qualif qualifying nature and qualifying marks will be around 25%. Okay, that you can easily score and they will not be counted on merit. If you score 300 out of 300, then also it will be of no use. That will be only qualifying nature. Now after that, you have to take option. What options you can take, I will tell you. And option paper, whatever you will take, a paper one, be, will, one will be 250 marks, paper two of 250 marks. You will be taking one option. That one option, whatever you take, civil, mechanical, electrical, whatever you take, out of that thing, two papers will be coming. Suppose somebody has taken civil. So civil, half subjects will be here and half subjects will be here. And these marks will be counted for the merit exam, for the merit. Okay, so these 500 will be counted. These will not be counted or this will be just a screening test for stage two. And this stage two is specially for the IRMS students. Okay, not for any other graduate of BA or BSc. That is for IRMS students. Okay, now after stage two, the students who are qualifying from stage one, they will give stage two. Stage two, this will be only counted for the merit. Now after this 500 marks and who he has to qualify here also. Here marks jada nahi chahiye, only qualify and from here 500 marks, some students will be selected for personal interview test in UPSC charge known for 100 marks and these 500 and these 100, 600 marks will be taken as final consideration for merit. Now for this paper one optional paper, there are four options. So either you can take civil, mechanical, electrical and commerce and accounts. Okay. So either of these things you can take guys, a student from computer science, a student from textile, a student from instrumentation can give the exam. Okay, but he has to opt from either of these things. Okay, a textile student, computer science students can become an IRMS officer, but he has to take any of these. Okay, so now all the class one officers in railway will be from these backgrounds. Okay, because railway needs, UPSC understood this, DOPT understood this, railway understood this. 
that you railways needs engineer needs technical person that is why this is happening and yes there are some post of audits and accounts also so that is why they have taken commerce and accounts also as a specialization guys my father is also in uh, iands indian audit and account services so also apart from technical things these are also required so these four will be now only the class one officers in upsc and that will be through irms now scheme age limit will be 21 to 32 years this is the number of attempts that uh, student can give the exam of irms now notify this exam is for 2023 okay the notification will be come on 1st of feb just before your gate examination uh, exam will be on 28th of may prelims exam along the civil services mains examination that will be september 2023 mains examination is this one okay this one that is specially for irms so that will be on uh, 2000 where is it september 2023 and personality test will be before civil service students okay now total vacancies for this uh, next year is 150 out of the uh, specification is like this okay electronics and electrical i am not saying 100% syllabus is same but yes some of the part is same like uh, you can say digital and con control systems emft major part is same signaling system is same so you can give from here as well so these are the bifurcations of number of vacancies and uh, commerce students are also have 30 this is for this year this is my personal guess that railway requires more civil engineers not because i am civil engineer so that might increase number of civil engineering seats might increase from 2024 and might for other branches also so this is the pattern guys and uh, now as of now all engineers should be very happy that now the railway seats are for engineers and yes 30 seats are for Uh, accounting students also okay so guys this is the detailed pdf okay we'll be providing this uh, in our respective telegram groups please do comment on the below that how you feel about this decision from the upsc railway dopt and yes always many people criticize the government and uh, this but yes now i abhinav negi on behalf of byju exam prep personally thank the ministry of railways for taking this decision on the favors of engineers not only favors of engineers but favors uh, in in the favor of nation also in the favor of country also because yes railway requires engineers as per uh, seeing the demand of the job okay so now it's your turn to snatch these seats yes the seats are less might be more in the upcoming years but now yes the railway is for engineers thank you keep watching thank you take care